Greetings and salutations, my friends out there, all my movie maniacs. I've got an independent short film for you today, and it's The Leaf Blower Massacre. That's right, brought to us by Anthony Cooney, who also directed and wrote the story for this film. The screenplay was by Josh Stevenson. Now, you get basically the story of a guy walking around with a leaf blower in a neighborhood terrorizing the uh, people who live in that neighborhood. <laughs> it's, a, it's a short film, okay, so you don't get a whole lot of story here. What you do get is some very interesting characters. The thing I did enjoy about it was the characters that they came up with. From the girlfriend character, played by uh, Anita Cole Brown, to Shavar, played by Shavar D. Clark, and Anthony Cooney, the director and uh, writer of the story, gets his fingers in in, the, in front of the camera as well as behind as he plays Bobby D. and there's also a character Baby Sal. I love these characters. There's a poker scene in here that's really great. Great, uh, and I thought it was handled really well and directed and enjoyed the dialogue in there, okay? So I enjoyed that bit of it and the characters. I also enjoyed the Leaf Blower Massacre uh, look. The guy, it was fairly simple uh, look put together, but still very 80s slasher-like. So that was done well. Uh, and the idea of the leaf blower being a tool of death is a great concept, okay? I really enjoyed all these elements. And at the very end of the film, it starts to ramp up a little bit, but then it ends, and it made me just hungry for more, which this film really did. It made me hungry for a lot of things. Now, uh, of course, it's a low, no-budget film so the production value is a little is low it's kind of your standard lower budget look to it some of the special effects what little there are are done uh, fairly well for a film of this budget audio is a little bit uh not as crisp as you like or not as forthcoming it's a little bit low in spots okay so you may be taken a little bit aback by that but i really enjoyed the concept and really want to see where this story goes i'd love to see more of it this almost seems like an intro to a larger picture which i hope it is because it did leave me hungry at the end and they are coming out with leaf blower massacre 2 so hopefully they'll be able to feed some of that hunger that I got at the end of this film. If you're interested in it, you can look. It's going to be hitting the festival scene uh, and it's in some other places as well. So check out Leaf Blower Massacre if you do like the low budget indie short film. It's not that long. It's an interesting concept, but it may leave you hungry and want you to know more, which we may get out of the sequel. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Until next time, keep that ticket stuff.